Grattan, thanks for your time. Just you. talk us through. On the face of it, it looks very, very good, but we're not sure what the detail is yet. <laughs> <laughs> the difficulty with these results is they're for a 10-month period, and they compare 10 months with 12 months. So that's the, the, the first uh, hurdle we've got to get across. And then the second one is that in, in these 10-month results, it includes the Unitrans automotive business and the Steinbuild DIY business for the full, 12, uh, full 10 months, and whereas in the previous year, they were only in for two months. Right. So it is relatively difficult to compare. So what we've done is we've unpacked on a like-for-like -like basis all of the five operating divisions uh, for the 10 months against 10 months. And, and that's really the true picture as far as we're concerned yeah. in, in performance terms. So you said that, that headline earnings are relatively flat on 10 months on 12. Yeah. But if you look at like for like on 10 on 10, yeah. uh, earnings are up just over 20% to, to you know, 4 and 10 against uh, 335 last year. So that, that's the number that, that uh, is comparable. Yeah, I forgot to introduce Ian Cruikshanks, Head Treasury, uh, Strategic Research at uh, uh, NetBank. Uh, thanks, Ian, for joining us. Thank you. I want you to listen to him because I'd like you to ask him a difficult question. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk, the, let's talk about the condition of the retail, the, the, of, yeah. of the consumer, mm -hmm. because these numbers are suggesting that the, the consumer is in a good space. We do know that they are overburdened, but at the same time, we do know that uh, interest rates are at multi 30 year lows here. So there is a, it's, it's a good space to be in, mm -hmm. but is there a need for caution? Well, I, I think if you look at our book, uh, which is a real bellwether of, of you know, our, our middle mass market, so indicate of, of how much stress the, that that consumer is under the book is as performed as good as it has ever in in, in some 30 years so we're, we're looking at bad debt ratios as, as low as they've historically ever been we're looking at bad debt write-offs as low as they've been and and and, and that's for a number of factors you know the way we you think they are record lows. they are record lows in in these results um, we've also grown our book in in, in, in a personal loan into personal loans so we've just done you know one over 1.1 billion loans personal loans mm -hmm. again that book is new but but it's looking it's performing exceedingly, exceedingly well so yeah. we trade of course middle mass market okay so we're not yeah. in the upper end or, or, or the lower end so we are firmly in the in middle mass market space and and from the evidence from the book yeah. um, our customer is is not over geared uh, and is and and uh, collection rates are an uh, all-time high and and bad debt provisioning and bad debts are, are, are uh, as, as I said earlier yeah yeah this sounds very positive too positive it, it were no it's not too positive but it's interesting to ask the question uh, Grattan has stressed uh, the the credit quality uh, the the, the the benefit of the personal loans, new area they've gone into, it will be very interesting to see as interest rates do t turn in the cycle, as they inevitably will. Yeah. But I think what is perhaps more important is to say, let's just take financial banking facilities effectively, and you can't expect me to be friendly when these guys are stealing <laughs> our lunch, <laughs> you know, in the banking sector. So, uh, it's exactly so, what I was hoping for. That's right. <laughs> but, but seriously, what we have to say is, okay, pretty good results, how much of it comes contributed from so-called banking? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, Sorry. Forty-six percent of our book um, of our earnings in in the current period are, are are from the financial services division. That's why Ian is crying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it just says no, no. no. <laughs> but you know, on the retail side, eighteen yeah. percent of our business comes out of furniture. About ten comes out of cash. Um, and then obviously Unitrans uh, Automotive uh, accounts for just over 20%. So the 50% the, the of our business in reality is, is retail and 50% is from consumer finance. And, and the consumer finance has really had a stellar, stellar year. Mm. Uh, look, it is, we're, we're fully aware, going back to 2008 and 9 you know, post the, you know, the meltdown, so to speak, we, we had a, a lot of strain in the book. At that stage, we centralized all credit granting right. and all credit collections. And, and that really took the FSC levels to, to, to a new level. So that's where we're seeing uh, the benefits coming through in the current yeah. year's performance. I think maybe there must be something that banks can learn from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll never be so bold. <laughs> you still need to go to them for your, for, your, for your loans. But let's talk about the other point that uh, Ian raised, which is around when the cycle tends, mm. when we begin those interest rates going up. How sustainable can this be in the face of that? Because those interest rates, as he says, they have to go up at some point. Sure. Um, we've seen, as you said, interest rates at an all-time low as well. So what we, our book is relatively short. I mean, it's mm. a 24-month book. So the reality is that 75% of our new personal loans are to existing customers who bor borrowed to buy furniture from us historically. Right. So we know the customer and we know our target market very well. Uh, with the shorter book, um, you know, that has also, you know, some protection when it comes through the cycle. But we're patently aware that the credit extended in the best of times comes back to bite you at a later date. And we all, we all know that. So interest rates going up 
Small incremental increases in interest rates don't have a huge impact because we fix, fix our interest rates f oh. over the period of a loan. What really affects us is, is employment. Right. You know, we're, we're housing and employment are two big key drivers in, in our business. So if people start to lose jobs, which happened in, in 2008 and 9, we really saw the impact on, on the performance of the book. So whilst we're not seeing increasing in, um, employment rates, those people that are employed in our target market are definitely receiving a salary increase and they have, with lower interest rates, are, are making the product more affordable. And that, and that is the reality. People are using the money um, to buy hard lines. So they are buying assets with, with that, doing up their homes, uh, school fees, etc. Uh, those are the sort of things that we are seeing uh, our customers using that uh, money yeah. for. So with Marikana in the background, Ian, do you see those just being created? I mean, we've got GDP no. numbers coming up no. tomorrow. Uh, no, I'm very fearful of that, in fact. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we're seeing it, for instance, what's happened to the foreign capital inflow? It has stopped. We've had no foreign direct investment at what all. What we're seeing this is year. this hot flow now into the bond market. Flow. Yes, the hot money, as you call them. That is returning around, certainly from the JSE, net outflow, yeah. from the bond market, slowing considerably. Mm -hmm. If this has to turn into full, fully fledged flight, yeah. we're in real trouble. It hasn't happened yet. Let us just hope that the government is aware of the threat, yeah. just how big that could be. Yeah. Now, with that in mind, uh, Grattan, what then does that mean uh, for the second half, for, for, sorry, for, 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 the, for your next reporting period? How likely are you able to sustain this set of numbers that we've just seen here? Well, uh, we're, we're fairly positive about uh, mm -hmm. all the heavy lifting that we've done over the last three years, putting the business on a new sort of fundamental base where, where you've got a, a, a very focused consumer finance business and a very focused uh, retail business and, and each of their own management and each of their own structures, each has got their own key dollars, etc. So that's the way we manage the business mm. uh, I I in the Greater JD Group. So I think we've, met, we, to be fair, we made a few mistakes coming up to Christmas last year in furniture with, with stock availability, etc. And, and we, we got caught on the, on the wrong side of entry-level notebooks in, in Incredible Connection. And those are two mistakes we made that are in these results. But we're fairly positive about coming up to Christmas. Um, we're still seeing nice growth coming through. What's fairly positive, uh, Grat? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, you know, the current run rate is that we're seeing late single, early double digit growth at the top line okay. in, in furniture. And that's, uh, okay. that's where we're, 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 we're targeting. Yeah. Um, we're seeing some, some reasonable growth in margin. We saw a margin up this year from 36 to, to nearly 37. Yeah. We see our longer term to 38 and 39% in margin. So we, we have a, a very strong operational focus with moving margin, we're opening some new stores, so we're positive about the, about the economy. Um, we'll open another 50 stores next year. So, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a good time. It's, it's not all doom and gloom by any mm. manner of means. Sure. I think the customer is probably, over the last three or four years, has not bought furniture and appliances where they've, you know, where they have probably, you know, spent on, on food and, and, and transport and the like. Yeah. And, and maybe they're coming back into the market to, you know, to turn their house into a home or whatever else uh, the case would be. Yeah. Yes, just a point there, Grattan. You mentioned uh, a turnover uh, growing by about late single-digit mm. numbers. Mm. But if we take that in real terms, okay, inflation has come down, but let's yeah, say sure. average, it's you know five to six percent, five mm. and a half percent. Sure. So it's only three to four percent. Now, yep. uh, how much of that growth is just inflation? Uh, you know, on the products themselves as well. Okay, and are the number of goods really keeping pace? Well, the, the units are, are up a little bit, but there is, we, you know, if you see a couple of categories, it's funny enough that, that if you take uh, TVs as a category or large appliances as a category, they, they've been, well, TVs have come down in price significantly, mm -hmm. so you've got to, you know, run 20% harder just to stand still. Sure. So it's great from a consumer yeah. point of view, the same with open computers. Furniture, we've seen a little, up, a little uptick in, in, in uh, its pricing, of course, pricing with some of the dollar input prices going up a little bit. So there's an element of inflation in the furniture side, but deflation on the appliances and, and uh, the technology side. So it's a bit of a basket, so. Mm. And okay. if she cuts again? <laughs> 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 Look, uh, you know, I, I think it's all about the sentiment. People yeah. would buy the products that resell if they're feeling positive and bullish about their job and, and the economy. And, and that's really, a, uh, you know, our type of uh, customer. May I make a comment on that? Very quickly. If she cuts again. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> if they cut again, yeah. it means we're in a dire state of both the local and global economy. Mm. Then turnover will be down. We'll all be in serious trouble. Mm. <laughs> will she? I think not. Yes. I'm a positive thinker. <laughs> Ian is staying with us, uh, but uh, Grattan Kirk, uh, JD Group CEO, will be leaving us. Thanks very much indeed for joining us.